Oh, ho, ho, Steam Deck, guys. Pretty cool product. But it's gotten even better. Even better. Or, well, better as far as we know it. Because some cool stuff I can do. And if you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe. And let's do this. So, the Steam Deck, at least... I made a video earlier on about it, about how awesome it was, and how I thought it could do xCloud, which makes me so happy when Phil Spencer himself confirms that xCloud works well on it, and he played Halo on it, which now I will take with a slight grain of salt because he does, you know, he is the head of Xbox, but... But, it's, it's good to know it actually works. Hopefully great when it comes around. Controls great. Wow, plays Halo and age feels good. Age? I don't know what the game is. I'm probably stupid for not realizing it. Um, now, I always want to play Halo, personally. Because, this is Steam Deck. uh, shush. I always wanted to freaking play like Halo 1 on a freaking plane. I don't know. Just a little fantasy of mine. Very fun. Sounds so exciting to do. I don't know. Just my opinion though. And I mean, okay, this doesn't just help everyone for like Xbox players. This helps PC players as well. And those PlayStation players that wish to give it a try. Some Xbox games without having to buy... An Xbox because they can play xCloud or what I'm gonna do is install Windows on this so I can run um, the uh, native Xbox app and I can just install install it like download it instead of having to play um, over um, xCloud now if you're going to a friend's house xCloud will be so nice you don't have to download a new game that your friends want to play you can just do that, and it, it's Steam, obviously, the biggest library in the world of video games. I'm pretty, well, at least I'm nearly 100% sure. So it's pretty cool. Love it. People who love the Nintendo Switch will like it too, because well, it's a similar experience, but way more games than what the Nintendo Switch has. Not saying Nintendo Switch is bad. They have pretty good licensed games, but this will be a new experience for you. Any PlayStation players that want to play this uh, on Steam as well. And just not just for Xbox players wanting to play on the go. But also, they could, for the first time, not only play Steam games, but a few of Nintendo... Not Nintendo. Um, a few of the PlayStation games on Steam. Which is so cool. And this will obviously increase the Steam um, ecosystem. Yeah, brain fart there. The Steam ecosystem. So more people to play with. And you can play all the cool games that obviously you don't get to play. Such as, I don't know, Team Fortress 2. Unless you got the, uh, the game on. Uh, I don't know if it's on PlayStation. But there is a version of it on Xbox. And it was beautiful. So beautiful. And PlayStation games, obviously. Nintendo, though, they're kind of in their own little sphere, but that's okay, I guess. They don't, they're not going to really uh, worry about it that much. They're kind of just, yeah, Nintendo Switch is cool. And it has its own games. But obviously, the Steam Deck would crush it just because, obviously, it's new hardware. And the Nintendo Switch needs an up upgrade, like, seriously and badly. I would love that they did that because then obviously like cooler Mario games like seriously anyways I'm not gonna rant about freaking Nintendo Switch doing an OLED update and not a hardware update that everyone would have preferred but it's fine so if you guys agree with me please tell me in the comments and if you if you just give me a like really appreciate it and if you really want to I would love for a subscription from you that you don't have to pay for it's completely free and you get to see my degenerate videos on your for you page or recommended sorry not for you page anyways i'll see you guys in the next one and 
wish you the best of luck for oh by the way i purchased this by the way so i'm not just speaking out of my butt i oh i didn't purchase it i reserved it for quarter two 2022 which is a little sad it's so far away but i got the 530 dollars one with 256 nvme uh, ssd in it which should hold your games or hold at least one call of duty so yeah it's pretty cool right. and if you want my personal opinion don't buy the 64 gigabyte the em emmc you unless you're playing old games you just want to play some you know OG games because then those will pretty, they'll run pretty fine. Unless you get a big SD card with it, you're not going to be able to hold very much games for the future. Because I mean, freaking Call of Duty for the past four years have been more than like 64 gigabytes, even longer probably. So you know, it's just a nice little thing to be aware of. I got in a fight with my last not a fight, but like telling the guy who messaged in my video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wow. I'm doing one of those outros that I just keep forgetting. I should stop ranting. He um, he argued about how the 64 gig is still uh, good, and I told him it was good. It's just not going to last super long with the size of games nowadays. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye